each two men got a case of grenades, extra extra ammunition. A lieutenant came down, talking to each one individually, and shaking hands as though it was going to be our last fight. You know, it was going to be, and it was. They hit us harder. Now they knew that after us there was nothing between us and the road. So they came up, uh, uh, flares went up, mortars guys sent up flares, and we could see them. I mean, there was just a horde of them coming at us. There was hundreds of them down in this ravine, about 50 yards away, and we were machine gunning the hell out of them. Our machine gunner, this young kid, he had uh, the tripod up, and I mean, the belt was flying, and he was just gunning away. And I was standing right there, my big moment of glory. I was standing up there looking at a thousand damn men, just going, oh my God, we're in it. Oh, I mean, just what could you do? And it, it, it didn't make a dent in them whatsoever. I mean, you knew every time you fired your rifle, you're killing somebody, but it certainly wasn't stopping anybody. I was up on the gun, was sitting up in a little embankment, so the guy had to come up. And when he came forward, I shoved my K-bar straight through and it came out the back of his neck. When I shoved my bayonet into him, he naturally squirted blood all over me. And then that uh, blood, I mean, it burned my eyes. So I was getting hands full of snow trying, trying to wash out my eyes. And uh, they had come up, uh, came up in front of us and they were throwing grenades. And uh, the grenade bounced off my helmet, killed the guy on my left and wounded my buddy. Then things started to get hairy, and uh, we turned around, and they were right behind us. And my sleeping bag was there, and then we killed eight of them right on top of my sleeping bag. Our section leader, uh, Bobby Devins, Sergeant Devins, he uh, told us all to pull back out of where we were, and uh, we fell back into a, like a little stream bed, a little bank there, and we lined up on that, and he checked the whole perimeter to make sure everybody was situated, and then. Uh, that's where we had our stand right there. That was that was the end of the line, that riverbank. When when Bob put us into that other position, he uh, hit us and he got hit in the back of the head with a with a burp gun. And I remember we did the best we could when we had a bad head wound and of course we didn't have nothing to work with. He died in uh, Jack Danaher's arms. Les gave up his sleeping bag to, to put uh, Bob in it and we put him on the side of the road. And we figured, well, Gray's registration will find it. But it was such a mess that they, uh, everything went, went crazy. I remember we expended all our grenades. We rolled them all down. And we were, uh, the mortars were going off from behind us, you know. And it was at night we couldn't get air support. We lost a lot of good. But we did hold. <laughs>